Championship. Mech Menaces with Wizards. We expect a win out of Mech Menaces here. Let's see what we get. Game one. It's the best of seven, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a kickoff that goes off in the direction of Mech Menaces immediately. Ronks with the first whiff of the game, but it's a tactical whiff. Beach comes and finishes it out. Yeah, just looking to, you know, possibly shake off some nerves. We're on the big stage now. Every mistake matters. So, and perhaps that's just a, a little, some early game jitters from the Whiff Wizards. A bit of instant karma there for Ronks as he missed the ball, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> can't take it seriously, I tried. Uh, <laughs> Ronks here again, misses the ball going up the wall. That's crazy. You really expect Ronks to play better than this, but is this what we have to look forward to for the whole series? I hope so. Um... MCY, I don't recognize that name. Is that is that somebody who usually has a different name? Maybe Macy. Maybe that's how you're supposed to say that. Skrilla here with a nice touch over to the corner. Fallon's going to try to get there. Misses it in the air, though. He's usually so solid in the air. That actually is a bit of a surprise. I guess I had a little bit too much pace on it. Ariel Nishoku. Again, I'm not super familiar with that name either, actually. Goes up. Skrilla with a nice save, but Fallon's going to try and put it back on target. Ooh, Whiff Wizards getting a little frantic here. Whiff Wizards living up to their name, trying to instill some of their uh, whiffing tactics, trying to throw off the Mech Menaces as they push up. They've got a chance. Macy puts off to the right side. Nishoku is there. Beach is there. And we're back down to the middle as the teams race off to see who can get the first possession. Ooh. That's a lot of pressure here coming out of Mech Menaces at the beginning of this game. Of course, they're up by one already. But it seems like they're kind of trying to just send one person at a time on the offense uh, and hoping they can make it through all three players while the other two kind of sit back a little bit. Uh, I, I, I fear maybe that they don't respect the offense of uh, Wiz Wizards, so therefore strategically Ooh. it would make the most sense to uh, just send one mat at a time until they break down and take the shot to finish it. That's fair. Until they're up. So. That's true. Whiff Wizards here. They've had a good bit of pressure here in the last 30 seconds, so three minutes remaining in this Ronk's first game. That one with a little bit of attitude. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, are we even surprised at this point? I, it's, uh, <laughs> just what you'd expect to be allowed in a, you know, in a league like this just doesn't apply to the mech menaces and that's oh, a shot no. open where was ronks nobody knows just he kind of just watched it go in uh, that he hangs out in his discord chat and yells at people as they come in but it's uh, really it's it's i mean i heard those rumors it's never happened to me directly but i you know, I know. yeah right i'm playing with you ronks we're just we're just poking some fun at you brother ah, um, ronks mean. goes up for a touch puts one off the back wall skrill is there looking to maintain possession Fallen pops one right in front of the net, and Nishoku is there as the team is just trading possession back and forth. Nishoku puts it up, and Ronks once again looking to be the offensive power for this team as he is seem to be the uh, the cog in the wheel that really makes this car go. Um, we'll see if he's able to find that pacing and spot for this team. Nishoku it's a demo and a Skrilla. It's in. Skrilla well done. In. I you know can't believe it, guys. We we can only a lot of us in the league here can only hope Whiff Wizards manage to get a win out over Mech Menaces here, put them into elimination contention here. An early elimination. We already saw TFM go out early, unfortunately, in the group stages. No one really expected that. Um, so that's that's truly unfortunate. You know that was our major two winners. We wanted to see them in champs, looking to maybe get some format changes to make that a little bit harder to happen next season. But uh, here, I mean, if commit, if, you know, commitment issues has been top three. Mech Menaces has been top three consistently. Uh, they were also our major one winners. So it would be a pretty big deal if Wiz Whiff Wizards managed to make the win out here. Yeah, I mean, you can hear the almost childish excitement for me as Whiff Wizards puts one in. Uh, just the, the thought that perhaps uh, a team that it's really just looking for a chance to prove themselves an underdog uh, might have an opportunity Ooh, that to was a close get a big victory here the ball goes middle central Macy is there a nice maintain puts it up on the high right wall with his races to it gets it over a little fancy touch from Macy's they send it back 
I mean, they don't have to really be in a rush. You know, they've got the lead. The, the game is going at a very slow pace. Fallen misses the double touch, but it was a solid attempt. It was the right play. Um, sure looking to maintain possession. Honestly, at the pace this game is going, I believe this favors with Withers. It's when the speed gets higher. Oh, no. Oh, almost on cue as the speed of the play ramps up. A quick touch down to the middle. Caster curse, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Ronks actually makes a good infield pass off the wall here. Fallen's ready. And uh, puts it in the spot. And Macy isn't. 2 2. Tie ball game. Minute to go. Anybody's game. Who wants it? Whiff Wizards is going to need to try and get this first win in game one. They're not going to want to give McMenaces any kind of momentum in this series. And they definitely don't want to have to crawl their way back from a deficit. That's a pretty solid beat by Scrolla there, though. Uses a lot of boost to try and make the second uh, commitment to it. Fallen! Oh my god! Almost makes the bump! Nishoku gets it to the post just in time. And Mech Menaces have all the pressure here yet again on offense. Ball moves central. Fallen puts a shot on net. Oh, Macy is there just a second late. Uh, we'll see what happens here. The play unfortunately breaks down. Beach got a uh, demo there. Yeah, Skrilla went for a touch on the right side, just kind of fell out of fell out of the play. And, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. One up to uh, McMenus. It's looking like uh, Nishoku is tending to be their more defensive-minded player. Fallen, looking like he might have did an own goal there almost, but thankfully he's champ three now, guys. He's not going to do that. Nope. Uh, so, yeah. It uh, looks like with these last remaining seconds, Mech Menaces are going to pull away this win, but that one gets floated in front of their net. Once again, Skrilla gets a touch. It's going up the wall. This is not where Mech Menaces want the ball right now, but Ronx is going to oh. kill that. Oh, that was looking a bit shaky there for a second, but they weren't really in danger. Ball's in their corner. <clears throat> no, I just mean, you know, it, it, even as the team is named Mechanical Menaces, we know, we know what their game is. It's slow the ball down. You know, methodical, move the ball down the field. Let Ronks try to start a play. Let Fallen get a flick, get upfield. You know, they, they have a proven method. And, and when teams try to speed the game up, that's when you find that mech mechanical menaces tends to struggle uh, at certain points of the game. So we'll see if mech menaces, uh, apologies, we'll see if, if Wizards has some, some strategy up their sleeve to try and uh, turn this around. That, that was a close game, right? That was, that was a very close game. Chat, let me know if my mic is... Uh... Still kind of loud. I've gotten a couple of comments on it. Just give me a heads up. Um, I don't know why it's any louder than usual, but I can try and turn it down a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's a bit what we expected out of Mech Menaces. Uh, better than we expected out of Whiff Wizards, but we need them to step it up any even further here. Um, you know, make sure they stay solid on that on that uh, defensive end. It's really all it's gonna take here against the mech menaces going back over to our game here we are on utopia looks like we oh i thought we were gonna have a sub but i don't even know if they have a have a fourth man um they got their three and that's all yeah. okay so here we have game two of the series can whiff wizards find a little bit more of that positive offensive movement we were finding in game one pull out a win as a little bit of confusion in the corner. Orange cars flying everywhere as uh, Beach Pilot puts one up high. Macy is there to respond. Anybody's ball. Skrilla goes up high once again. As the ball has just routinely stayed in the upper quadrant of this field. Um, That's a great touch out to Macy. Oh. Oh, there. Skrilla with the follow. Can't quite put it on target. A great little opportunity there. If they can, they can get some more of that, I think they may see some see the ball going a little bit more pinch clear there out of fallen but he sends it flying across the whiff wizards net bit awkward on defense here Skrilla knocks macy out fallen elects to hit the wall instead of the net with that touch and, and it's gonna amount to not much here beach coming up for his first touch of the game i think it was there yeah and Ooh, fallen tried to get a double touch didn't quite go beach with a follow Kind of a softy though, as a uh, ball will go back out to midfield. Fallen puts one up in the air, trying to get it over to Ronx. Ronx touches it. Once again, anybody's ball. The ball's just been kind of floating up in the air this game. It's like no one can really get a hold of the possession. 
That is something you can tend to rely on with Mech Menaces. They, they, they are comfortable in the air. They do not mind knocking that ball around, playing a bit of Boomer Ball. Uh, I can't say I've watched a whole lot of Whiff Wizards at this point, but I'd say they're looking semi-comfortable with that form of game plan. Not necessarily on defense. I think it's rotationally where they're struggling right now. And the confidence to back each other up. Bronx with a crossbar shot there. Gets a bump and Beach Pilot's going to put it over the second man. That's a 1-0 lead with three minutes yeah. remaining. I mean, that was a great bump by Bronx. I mean, he he set the play up himself. All Beach had to do was slot it. So that was, that was a solid play by the boys. Unfortunate miss out of Macy as well, though. I think he panicked a little bit. Did have the opportunity to clear that one in either direction. Once again, Mech Menace is off kickoff. They have a lot of pressure here. Two Whiff Wizards are up in the air for that. Trying to apply pressure. That's a great pass out mid, though. Gonna end up Should being saved. It. Yeah, I mean, they're just they're all over those. I think, I think they gotta either find some offensive creativity or volume. Volume or creativity. You gotta, you gotta find one. I think I think there's a there's a spot for both of those to work against Meg Menaces. You just got to find the right flavor, you know. Absolutely. I mean, Whiff Wizards. I think something I'm seeing a lot too here is they kind of adopted what I was pointing out as Meg Menaces strategy at the beginning, and they just keep sending one person on the offense, whether it's to because two of them need boosts or they're just worried about a clear or something, but. A lot of times, if you want to find success against a team like Mech Menaces, who are defensive, defensively solid, you know, you, you've got to send a second man in there either to be more fast on the passes or get a good demo and Fallen. Just going to slap that one home. Nice, easy aerial just under the crossbar. Yeah, I mean, I, I think to your point, especially against the team uh, Mech Menaces squad, if they're sending one and keeping two back, you know, a demo strat's just not going to work, right? Because there's always going to be an extra person there. And, and unless you can manage to, to kill two guys in one go, which is true, unlikely. Oh my gosh. I think, I think the option here is going to have to be speed. It's going to have to be speed, volume, and just almost, almost irrational uh, decision making. Because right now, you are playing Mech Menace's game, and they are eating them alive. Right. To make them uncomfortable, you've got to take away their space, take away their options. And right now, Whiff Wizards are just giving them too many options. They they have they can dribble, they can go in the air. They, I haven't seen much trying to meet anyone in the air other than from Skrilla. So we'll see how they adjust. Right now, game two, only a minute 20 remaining, and it's 2-0 Mech Menaces. And they've kind of settled in. They're looking comfortable. Yeah, there's, there's no discomfort for Megmanuses right now. They are flowing. They're in a flow oh my stage. Gosh. Yeah. Beach Pilot gets in on the fun. A ball pops up high from uh, Mr. Ronks there. and Beach says, I'll take that. Thank you. And the Christmas gear, too. I like it, Beach. Heck, yeah. ZFC, you know, was there. Started, we tried to you know get everybody on some Halloween gear. Halloween's over now. Maybe, maybe it's time to switch over to some Christmas. Get some wreaths on the cars. We need to make some Christmas cars for our next game. I'm down. That's gonna uh, once again. Whiff Wizards just kind of breaking down here. You wonder how the mental's going. You expect a timeout here after this game. Don't want to let the series get too far away from them. Yeah, I mean maybe that play is just low hanging fruit to say something so obvious, but I mean it seems like they're just kind of throwing themselves at the ball. I mean, at the very least, if you're gonna play it, oh speed, my you gotta god. Play it the ball, and if you don't hit the ball, you better be for certain that Meg Menace as well. Beach putting the alpha gear on a, on his highlight reel here. <laughs> Got the wheels and the hat. I think he said he has the boost, but he doesn't like it. I remember him telling me that before. <clears throat> Rather impressive. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a Beach MVP as he puts one up high. Ball and touches that to the right, trying to maintain the possession, and Ronx will be there. Uh, a little uh, inadvertent touch. Gorilla send one to the net. Nishoku has an opportunity. Goes high. Fallen recovers, and it's a fast break back to the orange side. Oh, that was a banger. Nice little pinch there out to the mid. It's 5 0 at this point. I think Whiff Wizards know how this game is going to end. The question is Oh my lord! 
The question is, can they get a sub in for Macy? He's not feeling it today, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I, I don't I don't know. What's going on here, man? I, I, I don't know. Per perhaps maybe some lag, maybe some miscommunication, or, you know, some discomfort, or possibly all... All of the above, it just seems like that's another goal. Yeah. I'd say Brazil, but you know, seems with like Wizards it. can't get one right now. They have 19 seconds. I think that's going to be the fourth goal for Beach this game, fourth or fifth, yeah. one or the uh -oh. other. Each pilot watched some blue luck before the game or something. This man's feeling like Nagi right now. Oh, well, that, that's a kickoff that looks a little promising if anyone on the Wolf Wizards team was in the vicinity, but I, I think they've given up, Bilbo. I think they've given up on this game, and it's over. This is stat padding. Regroup. Go next. Maybe a timeout. Timeout might not be too bad if you're a timeout-taking kind of lad. Yes, sir. Uh, all of a sudden, all this pressure out of Wolf Wizards in the overtime or, or in the ending timer, I don't... Where was that for the rest of the game? You know what? Let me stop. I'm I'm probably sounding rude and mean right now. I don't mean to. That is Beachwood. Island with five goals. <laughs> oh my goodness! This man going for an MVP. Okay, Beach, I see you. Seven shots on net. A total of twelve from the squad. There only two for Whiff Wizards. Uh, Skrilla, no no stats out of that game to speak of. Um. You, you, you just gotta wonder, can can they even turn this around? What do we think, chat? We think Whiff Wizards have a chance at this. They they had a much better game one than game two there. Uh, I, I don't know, man. It looks like McManus has kind of pulled it together, though. Bit of a... Uh, now, I will say this. I don't know if the chat knows, but I think Skrilla is a West Coast player. So he is always playing on higher ping than the rest of the teams. He's He's got 88 ping right now consistently. Although it looks like Ronks and Beach also have 88 ping. I don't know what's up with that. But looks like Scout in chat is a fan of Whiff, Whiff Wizards here. Oh, timeout from Skrilla, he says at the end of the 60 seconds. I think Can they you do that? I, um, I'm not sure. Actually, I'll make the decision. All right. Well, with that, sorry guys, let me get the game on screen. My apologies. There was a bit of confusion there. Uh, Whiff Wizards did not say their timeout until we were loading in for this <coughs> game three map. So, as the host of the game, had to make an executive decision there. Um. Yeah, perhaps we'll maybe, uh, as a committee, uh, review that uh, in case the situation comes up uh, again. As Fallen Sluts one right down the middle as a response. Um, you know, I, I believe after this game we will let the timeout uh, stand for them in the next one. But unfortunately, we didn't really see it in time. The game was loaded in. Yeah. Let's go ahead and play on from here. Wolf Wizards already have to work from a deficit, though. It's not looking great. Will we get another sweep here uh, on today's initial fights to stay here in champs? You know, there's a lot of questions as to the teams that made it through group stage to get here. Wolf Wizards need to prove that they deserve to be one of those teams right now. Yeah, I mean, the first game we saw some flashes, right? We saw some flashes of uh, potential... Um, but we got to see a cleaner game. Uh, you know, all, all respect, all love to my man Macy, but he's got to play better. He's got to play better. He's got to be more locked in, better touches, and got to be uh, better defensively as he is seeming to be more of the defensive staunch for this team. And uh, on the offensive side, as a whole... That's with, a with great team, shot out of Skrilla that gets stopped for a moment and then slammed home. I guess... Uh, you do that. Oh, it was off target, so that was actually a good touch. I It looked on target. That was a great great shot there. Now, I was going to say, I think if there was a game that Whiff Wizards had a chance to get back in this, it would be with Bot on Mech Menaces. He tends to be their weakest link. Not not talking bad about him. It's just how, how Mech Menaces tend to play their series out. They they, they bring Bot in when they're, they're already up most of the time. Uh, and I do think he's the lowest rank, and it's just it's in the net. And no one even really 
stopped falling there. Yeah, yeah just uncoordinated. As a matter of fact, Skrilla beat his own teammate with that touch. Un uncoordinated a play here. They, I think I think they really needed that timeout in game two. Yeah, I would agree. It's unfortunate, but we, we have to observe, you know, courtesy. If you want a timeout, you need to do it right at the end of a game. And I'm sure it was a, it was a, a you know, a, a, just a unfortunate mistake. I know there was no ill intent behind the timeout call. Absolutely, uh, there's no set rules that have been predetermined about how timeouts function in this league as of yet. Now we know we need to look at it. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> All right, with Wizards only down by one, Beach is going to touch it out past. Uh, now, normally, I think when Bot comes in, it's for Fallen, so Mech Menaces have chosen to go with a lineup we don't see very often here with Bot and Beach and Fallen. Yeah, because with Rox being their kind of main, I mean, I think it's fair to say their main playmaker. Absolutely. Um, it's interesting to see who's going to fill that gap, who's going to fill that void, who's going to be that guy, or does the chemistry change, you know, without Rox on the field? Absolutely. It's looking like Fallen ending up in the finishing positions a lot of these times. Bot's going to have an opportunity here. Macy cuts it out to the corner. Fallen's going to slow it down, though. Goes for a little flick. The 50 doesn't go his way. Mech Menaces just keeping possession really well here. Keeping their pressure up. Eventually, Whiff Wizards is going to crumble under the pressure again. I couldn't get the word out. And uh, Mech Menaces, 3-1. Yeah, I mean, hey, let's give credit where credit is due, you know. Beach is playing great, man. This, Absolutely. I, I, you know, transparently have always thought that perhaps Beach was the weakest link on this team. Um, and he's just proven me wrong. He's shown that, hey, I have value. I am an Oh, my lord, team. it's another goal. Uh, I can't even I can't even get into a story. They just keep scoring. <laughs> and Beach. I... Goodness. I remember, you know, you and I end up casting for mech menaces pretty often because uh because it's whenever fallen doesn't cast right so uh right. i think i think last time also uh beach was was popping off a little bit surprised us i think i think at this point i i personally have to go all right beach is an integral part to this squad yeah. Um, yeah, and that, that could have been my own ignorance from not watching the games or perhaps i just saw him on a bad match or two but at this point it's undeniable you know he's He's a dog. He's, he's a dog, and he is, as you said, an integral piece to a strong, strong team. It's looking like... Oh, my lord. Mech Menaces don't... They can play upfield past the defense. They don't even have to worry at this point. Look at this. Beach was upfield waiting for a pass here. Bots on the left just in case it spills out his way. It truly might be over, folks. Yeah, I would not want to be in those comms right now. Uh, good opportunity in the midfield here, but Beach, he's feeling himself. He's fast to that. He's up in the air. Goes and steals a bit of boost for himself in the opponent's side. He's up in the air again. Nice touch towards net. Fallen's going to try to redirect. Beach is going to get another crack at this net. Just puts a solid shot on and gets a 50 on the way past it. This is going in the net. I knew it. I literally was about to say. Bot's about to slam that into the goal. Oh, man. <sighs> Beach really opening all the space there for them. Well, maybe they can take a timeout and yeah, figure some things out or something. They, just, they need to they need to stop, breathe, you know, come up with a plan because it just seems uncoordinated and just no thought, no thought to anything that's happening. You know, the game is not going well and it's easy to get down on yourself and get into that pit, right? But uh, shot goes on net by Skrilla nice there. Nice touch there. So there's a follow. Beach says no. <laughs> yeah, Beach, Beach said I am the defensive dog here. Now here is the question, because Whiff Wizards have managed a goal of this game. Wait, oh, never mind. I was about to say, should we get our passports out, Bilbo? Mm, I think it's a it's a fair bet. If this was a prize picks bet, I'd be taking the over, 100%. Over on a Brazil. That's crazy. That's a... Now remember, Brazil is only the exact scoreline of seven to one. So, yeah. 
Screw it, though. Uh, what is this? Ha what? Okay, I don't understand. Whiff Wizard, I'm so happy to see this aggression out of you, but why does it have to wait till the last 30 seconds every last game? Moment. Come on, guys. Let's see it. Let's see. Let's see. There's the Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way to name our country. Fallen tries to steal it. Um, Potentially, they're just, they're just they're out of sync. They're just out of sync. That's all there is to it. The offense is not bad. The speed is not bad at the end of the game, but. Ah. It's a 3 0. We're going to have a timeout, I assume. Uh, for. With Wizards. Timeout. Three minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. How are you feeling? Welcome to Brazil, my friends. Got a bunch of... Brr, 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 brr. A <laughs> Cars for Jordan. I don't know, man. You know, as, when you're casting a game, you, you you hope for some some exciting stuff to, to watch, but right now it's just kind of a slaughter out there. Who is that other dude? Was... Was was somebody behind you, Bilba? Did someone come in your room? No. So Bilba's concerning. on the left, ladies and gentlemen, over here. Did someone walk in my room? I don't know. No, no, I, I wasn't I, paying I attention. Not put it past, I would not put his past Trent to be pulling some crap out of <laughs> Trying to scare me or something. <laughs> trying to get his time to shine. Yeah, <laughs> get his moment. But, um... He is watching the stream though, so I mean, give me playing games. With me. I know I pointed the wrong way. I don't. Most handsome casters, hell yeah. Wait, did the team win? Uh, no. Uh, it is 3-0 right now. McManus's. They are on triple match point, or quadruple match point. Sorry, quadruple. They have to. With Wizards, will have to win four games. Um. To even try to get back in this series. It's looking dire, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be honest, gentlemen. Is there a single woman in this chat right now? I'll be right back. <clears throat> Is it... Oh, well, he's walking away. Did Ice Titans win against Zen Fan Club? No, sir. Ice Titans were swept by Zen Fan Club. 4-0. <laughs> I had to try and say that as uh, non-dickheadish as possible. I am proud of the squad, though. It is only a three-minute break, so I hope... He comes back soon. Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. What'd you eat for dinner? Uh, I had Sonic, and it was awful. Sonic awful? I, I, I miss with Sonic. What'd you get? Uh, I tried the... It wasn't actually awful. It's just, like, you feel like you shouldn't be eating it, you know? Uh, Love you as backup, by the way. Okay. Um, I had like this like garlic, butter garlic, bacon burger thing, and I asked them to add lettuce and tomato. It was pretty good. We are getting. Why did he join? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, public service announcement. While you are waiting in a lobby for a game to start, if you join a team, it makes the game start. <coughs> Man, six eight. Did you know you were six eight, Bailey? I or Bilbo? Sorry. Yeah. Do you know no, you were? Only, I'm not six eight. I'm six five, but I'm not six eight. <laughs> I am a tall lad, though. And, he, and he's and he's jacked. Also, is what uh, extreme? I know extreme is somebody in the in the. It looks like we got everybody. Do a little teams ready. 
Yeah, he uh, he benches 600. Oh, 600 is great. I can squat 500 though. True story. I I hop in chat every oh, once in a while. I just don't know who you actually are in the in the chat. Game four, ladies and gentlemen, possible last game of the series. Quadruple match point for Mech Menaces. They've got Ronks back on the field. They've got Beach. I believe Fallen is... No, it's Bot. So Fallen has taken a break out from this series. Uh, get, some good reps in. get some good reps in for the Botster. Gonna need him down the stretch, I'm sure. Beach being the true MVP here. Gonna see how many goals he can get in game four. He's gonna go for a PR here. That is a free ball for Ronks. Puts it up on the crossbar, and I can barely get the words out of my mouth before Beach puts it in the net again. Beach man, Beach man, yeah, that's me. He's everywhere. We'll have to rename our team to Beach Fan Club. <laughs> Be down for that. <laughs> we'll just spell it like a beach, like we like yeah. to go to the beach. Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, this is round one of champion. Well, they're not in groups anymore. It's just tournament style now. It's teams got their seedings based on group stages, and uh, who you had to play was dependent on how you played in groups. That's headed towards the net. Ronks comes in as the hero there, flying across and makes the save. I am seeing a bit more pace here out of Whiff Wizards, a little bit more life. Hopefully, they can make something happen. Oh, there's so many gaps, though. It's terrifying. Yeah, you know, I something to appreciate about Ronx is the, what makes him such, such a dangerous playmaker is his ability to be creative on the ball. And I mentioned this around game two as a potential way for Whiff Wizards to get back into this game. But Ronx, uh, he, ha he has well enough mechanics that um, he can really implement some of his creative ideas into offense. He puts one up high, uh, the Whiff Wizards defense stands tall. Um, I, I just think Ronx is one of the uh, better creative playmakers uh, that this league has to offer right now. And I think that's why whenever he's on the field, the offense looks better. Man. And always has. Yeah, I mean, Ronk's one of the few people in the league to have pulled off some flip resets, some ceiling shots to score in the league here. So uh, definitely has the creativity down. He's going to beat Macy there. Does he have the speed to get the ball there? Gets it around. Nice pass up to Bot, and they're going to finish that one off. It's looking like it's all over, folks. And no, Whiff Wizards have not won a game. I'll be real with you. I'm not sure how they made it uh, to the champs. Like, you know, you. Yeah, I don't know who they beat. A string of forfeits. Ah, that's right. They had two forfeits in the group stages. Immediately qualified them for a chance. Yeah. So I mean, that was that was part of the whole, uh, you know, them wanting to prove themselves, having wanted an opportunity to show that, that they belong. And um, I just don't think today's that day, man. You know, uh, I think I think regroup. You know, you'll go down the lowers. Uh, do some do some bot review. Yeah. Be, be be honest with yourselves. Look at what didn't work. That's, as I said it, it's a flip reset out of Ronks. That, that was disgusting. <laughs> well done there out of Ronks. Uh, you know, he put his attitude into that shot there. Uh, he certainly did. Really, uh, really great play there. I mean, that this is, a, this is why the question of the formatting for the group stages is brought into question, because you've got a team who... Is performing like Wolf Wizards have in this series against a top three team, of course. That the bot, the botster. It's a great shot at a bot. Yeah, that was a great placement. Rocks, diamond him up. Bot just slotting that coin into the oh, arcade man. machine. I guarantee you, there is no way we get a chance to look at the scoreboard after this. Uh, players will be outy. That's a nice touch towards net, but Ronks isn't going to be fooled. Oh, what I was about to say is, like, you know, you've got a team performing how Whiff Wizards are doing right now. I, what, well, that's a tough double commit pinch out of them there. And then we got teams like TFM who had to face some pretty tough teams, and they didn't get to come to champs, man. And it, it's just rough, so. 
That one's gonna go in for free. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could hype up these goals, but it's just looking like there's no resistance right now. Yeah, yeah it's really... I mean, logistically it makes sense, but it's a shame that TFM couldn't have one of these spots because they definitely deserve to be there. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think I think what Wizards just need to regroup and whatever the whatever the game plan is, man, just throw it away. Like you seen that that uh, that meme from the SpongeBob episode where like they're in the office and they're like throwing all the papers into the fire and stuff. Like that's what they need to do. They need to just do, like they need to destroy the brain and just destroy all the paperwork. And oh, this is. <laughs> oh man. Um, so anyways, what did you have for dinner, Bilbo? Um, uh, well, I haven't had dinner yet. Uh, oh my god, the redirect. I'm, uh, starting the carnivore diet back, looking to lose a little bit extra weight so I can get back into, uh, form for my, uh, jiu-jitsu tournaments. Uh, so yeah. I can head weight for my next, uh, group of fights. Um, so, uh, I'll be eating beef tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. I am not yawning right now, uh, to be rude, guys. That was a genuine yawn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit right now. Like, this is one-way traffic. I Skrilla needs to pull the GC tag out of his ass and start playing like he is Jesus. The... Uh, Belbo is the best caster be at Jiu-Jitsu. He was post-abusers. But, you know, post-abusers was... The biggest anomaly in this league ever, man. Like, they're not even here anymore. That's how crazy that team was. Yep. And, you know, as expected, we did expect the win out of Mike Menaces. Maybe not so solidly, but that is how it played out. And, you know, I would go interview the Mike Menaces, but that chat is just only for team members only. So...